welcome back to another Hag Swag unboxing video. This is June's box, Ancient Secrets. I'm so excited to get into these and learn these ancient secrets. Yes, Egyptian theme. I very much like Egyptian themed things. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Sorry for Peach's head in the shock there. And let's get right into the box. Now I did, this is June's like I said. Um, I'm sorry it's a little late. I know it's July already, but I actually just received this box due to a credit card issue and all this stuff, so I apologize for that. And I apologize for the wiggliness of this beginning. Peach is jumped onto the coffee table I'm trying to film on, and of course she's walking around like a crazy lady. Let's get into it, ancient secrets. So, upon inspection, we have the uh, grimoire page for June 2020 for Seeking... Is that an F? Seeking for Truth. I do believe that's what it says. Seeking for Truth. Interesting. Every one of us has hidden inner wisdom, secrets passed down from our ancestors, information that is filled, oops, sorry, that is veiled and yet to be discovered. You have the ability to tap into this, into the gifts of your lineage and into your own unique gifts. Very cool. I uh, can't wait to try this. It looks sweet. Perfect. Well, that is really cool. I love reading those. I love every grimoire page every month so far. It's been really sweet. I love this. I love these stickers. I think they're super cool. I'm gonna have to find a good place to put them. I love them, especially the um, jackal head. Those are so cool. This says Cadocius. It looks like the medical symbol. Whoop. Whoa, what is this? Hmm, what is this? Art print by Alex Black. Here, you can follow Tiberius Black Art on Instagram if you'd like. Cool! That's a really sweet print. I have to find a cool spot for that. Okay, here we go. Oh, geez, it's upside down. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. So this is just information on the Cadocius. I think that's how it it's pronounced, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's uh, get in here. Let's get into the rest of this. Maybe there's one in here. I don't know. Whew. Oh, I got something. Shake it up, girl. Ooh. Ooh, I got this really cool bookmark. I love that. You could always use a bookmark. Love it. That's super cool. Oh, I love that bookmark. Perfect. I need a bookmark. Okay, here we have some really cute buttons. Let's see. Hag Swag Egyptian Symbology button set. The scarab, a symbol of immortality, resurrection, transformation, and protection. Thoth, the god of writing, magic, wisdom, and the moon. The Anka, Anka? An ancient Egyptian symbol which symbolizes the many aspects of life, including physical life, eternal life, immortality, death, and reincarnation. The wajet, or yajet, yajat, meaning whole one, is a powerful symbol of protection in ancient Egypt, also known as the Eye of Horus and the All-Seeing Eye. Oh, very cool. Well, I know this is a scarab. I'm assuming this is Thoth. This one here, if you can see, sorry, I'm looking at everything here. This one here, I do believe is the Anka. And this one is the Wajet. I think, now, if you know more about ancient Egypt than I do, which I really don't know a lot about, Please leave a comment down below. Did I get that right? That'd be sweet. Anyway, these are really cute. I really like them. I'm not much of a button wearer, but I don't know. I could put them on something, I'm sure. Ooh, what is this? Ugh. Let's pop her open. 
So this is Heka Kaifi incense. Heka is the god of magic and medicine in ancient Egypt and is also the personification, personification of magic itself. According to myth, Heka fought and conquered two serpents, and so two intertwined serpents became symbolic of his power. Kaifi is a compound incense that was used in ancient Egypt for religious and medical purposes. This was made in ritual as dedication to Heka. Huh, that's really cool. So this is like worshipping Heka incense. It smells quite nice. I really like it. I don't know what kind of smell it is. Like I can't place my finger on the type of smell it is. But if you guys had like smell-o-vision, yeah, that's really cool. I really enjoy that. Yeah. I... It smells really nice. I really enjoy it. I just, I can't think of, like, how to describe the smell. Also, if you hear a mower in the back, like a, the sound of a mower, my husband is actually mowing the lawn while I'm doing this. So that's what that is, and I'm sorry you can hear it. This is a Cadesius altarpiece, and it's actually by Witch Down the Lane. You can follow Witch Down the Lane on Instagram or go on their website at thewitchdownthelane.com, which is super cool. I'm going to give them a little visit because they look like they have cool stuff, obviously. So this is their Cadaceous altarpiece. The Cadaceous is an archetype. Oh, it's just things falling. Sorry, <laughs> shit's falling over here. The Cadaceous is an archetypal symbol that has been with us for thousands and thousands of years, crossing over continents and through various spiritual and philosophical belief systems. This is a handcrafted, hand-painted piece, conserated in ritual and the honor of the path of the initiate. This looks really cool, and I do believe this is like the medical symbol. Also, this must be Kaibe's? What? What? Kaifi. Kaibe? What? Kaifi symbol? Because it did say Kaifi defeated two snakes, right? Hmm, this is really neat. I like this piece. It's very cool. I love it. Here is Magit anointing oil. A decadent ritual oil featuring blue lotus, lapis lazuli. Styrex, sandalwood, musk, morning oil, and more. One of the seven sacred oils used in the Eye of Horus ritual. The ingredients of this anointing oil were adapted from the pyramid texts. Very cool. These oils, Majet being one of the seven, were carefully recorded on the walls of Taiti's tomb. The Egyptian deities were known as the Netiro. These divine god forms were said to be the most fragrant beings imaginable, and so their statues were anointed daily with these sacred scented oils to evoke slash invoke their divine living presence. Very cool. I like that very much. Man, I love how, like, this stuff is very neat. It always has, like, you know, something to do with the theme, obviously. I very much like that. I'm going to smell it, so just give me a moment. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna anoint myself with this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, again, I'm lost for words at describing things today, so I apologize. I also apologize for trying to, um, pronounce all these names and all the things, and I'm just terrible at pronouncing them, so I'm really sorry. But this is really cool. It smells really nice. I very much like this anointing oil. I can see why Majet was anointed in it so often. It smells nice. Okay, what else do we have, y'all? So this here is Hagswag Air Perfume Oil. They gave us fire in the one box. I'm sorry, I actually can't remember which box it is, but it is, they gave like their fire perfume as well, so they must have like water and earth as well. So let's read the description. 
Higgswag Air Perfume Oil. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius share this element. Air signs are intellectual, detached, and fair-minded. This air-inspired perfume oil features Lang Lang, Oak Moss, and Tonka, and is 100% natural. Donned with the image of a heron, ancient Egyptians considered the heron as a messenger of divine forces and is the one that guides souls of the deceased gods to their afterlife. Very cool. I'm going to give it a quick smell. And I'll let you know if you know any Geminis, Libras, or Aquarius. I know all three. I, my dad is a Gemini. My sister is a Libra. And I think, if I'm correct, my brother-in-law, one of them, is a Aquarius. Oh, this stuff smells really nice. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. Ooh, smells really good. Kind of like a, a flowery. Anyway, very sweet. This stuff smells awesome, and I just want to bathe in it as well. <laughs> like this, between this and the Majette oil, I'm going to like be smelling so good. And like all ancient Egypt and stuff. So here... The herb in, featured in this box is lemongrass. That element is air, I do believe, and that is Jupiter, I do believe. Let's see if I'm right. <gasps> Mercury, damn it, I was so close. I wasn't, those planets are pretty far away from each other. I'm so good at planets. Anyway, element is air, planet is Mercury. Lemongrass clears obstacles standing in your way and has developed a rep reputation for being an important ingredient in road opening magical work. It's also known to help in changing bad luck to good, especially with those who have been afflicted by negative energies. Plant lemongrass around the home to repel serpent energy. Drink a tea to aid in psychic abilities and divination. Carry it in a sachet or charm to attract the object of your desire and bring honesty to your relationships. Burn as an incense for strength and purification. Really cool. I love lemongrass. I drink it in my green tea. Like at work we have green tea and it's, yeah, it's green tea with lemongrass in it. I'm pretty sure. Nice. I'm already drinking it. Boom. That's so exciting. I don't know why, but it is for me. It's exciting for me, okay? Just shush. Egg in the bag in the box is an Iolite pyramid. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it really well. Like, I hope that light from my window is uh, giving it justice because, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I love it. So its element is water, which is cool because I am a water element as well. And a uh, planet is Saturn. Iolite connects well with the visionary because it activates the creative side of the mind. In raising the consciousness, it allows for accessing thoughts and ideas beyond the ordinary. This stone is especially useful to one feeling trapped and in search for answers. It is a powerful visualization stone that helps one to see what is unseen and shed light on the lost aspects of the true self and uncover your inner mysteries. A pyramid is a sacred geometrical, <laughs> geometrical shape that collects energy from the universe and centers it down to us through the apex. This is why the pyramids in Egypt create a great energy vortex. Very cool. If I would go to, I would love to go to Egypt and like be around those pyramids and see all the tombs and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. But anyways, this Iolite pyramid is really pretty. Love it. And I've already got a hair on it. Lovely. Anyways, this is really cool. So you guys, that is where I'm going to leave you today with this gorgeous box unboxing. Again, I really love ancient Egypt. I remember I had a magic school bus book about ancient Egypt. I can't remember a lot of it, but it was super cool and I really liked ancient Egypt. So this is throwing me back to Miss Frizzle and her event adventures in ancient Egypt. That was super cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. My favorite piece out of this box would have to be 
Oh, that air perfume and that Majette perfume. Oh my God, they smell so good. I love that bookmark as well uh, and the Jackal sticker. Those are my favorites. Those are definitely my favorite pieces. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pieces are because you all know I love to hear from you. And that's it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave a like if you'd like or if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe think about it. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not here to boss you around, obviously. I'm just here to entertain, so I try. Anyway, have a great night, day, whatever time you're at. So I hope it's great, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!